Lead contamination is a big problem in West Oakland's Prescott neighborhood, but not for long. What we're doing is we're going to go in house by house, sort of uh, in the backyards. Maggie O'Donnell's company, Chemical Safety of Emeryville, got the contract to clean up the neighborhood. She says as toxic as lead can be, especially to children, the solution is simple, fish bones. What we do is we get the fish bone in a bone meal form and we're able to basically fundamentally just rototill it into the soil. Not only did she get the go-ahead from the EPA, but she got the attention of Jean-Michel Cousteau, the famous marine environmentalist. When you mix the fish bones with lead, it neutralizes the impact of lead, which has very, very negative consequences, particularly on young people. The fish bones come all the way from Alaska. Cousteau is in Oakland to see it for himself. What is a waste becomes a very, very important resource. Once the fishbone meal is mixed into the soil, it continues to do its work, even if there's more lead that enters the environment from auto emissions or chipped paint. We're trying to address the problem where it sits, leave the soil intact, creating no waste and neutralizing the pollution. Cleaning up lead in urban neighborhoods the old way by hauling off tainted topsoil is expensive. It costs some $50,000 per household. The EPA estimates using fish bones will cut that bill in half at the very least, saving taxpayers millions and millions of dollars. Fish bones have been used before, cleaning up lead for the military. This federally funded project in West Oakland is the first of its kind in the nation. And if residents take to it, fish bones may be coming to a neighborhood near you. In West Oakland, Vicki Liviakis, 